story to tell. The Adventurer Low Altitude Air Defense System, designated ANTWQ-1, is a top-class, highly mobile air defense weapon of the U.S. Army, armed with powerful firepower with eight FIM-92 Stinger surface to emissions in two missile launcher pods. This is a self-propelled surface to emissions system, which provides short-range air defense protection for ground units against cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, low-flying fixed-wing aircraft, and helicopters. Currently, the Avenger is being used by the U.S. Army, Bahrain, Egypt, Iraq, Taiwan, and Chile. It is a relatively cost-effective system that builds on the existing Humvee chassis and retains most of the features of its class. The Stinger missile, on the other hand, is a proven system. A typical Avenger crew consists of a driver and a gunner. Development commenced in the early 1980s. First production systems entered service with the U.S. Army in 1990. A total of 1,800 of these air defense systems were built. Around 950 systems are still operational. The main firepower is at Raytheon Stinger short-range air defense missiles in two large posts mounted either side of the turret. The secondary weapon is a 50 caliber M3P automatic machine gun to cover the missile dead zone and engage ground targets. The turret can also be deployed as a fixed standalone unit which can operate in day and night in all weather conditions. The FIM-92 Stinger is a two-stage solid fair self-homing missile with infrared guidance. It is a fire and forget type weapon. It has a maximum speed of Mark 2.2 and is fitted with high explosive fragmentation warhead. Maximum range of fire is from 4 to 8 km, and maximum altitude is 3.5 to 3.8 km. Vigor is fitted with center tire inflection system. A venture can be airlifted by C-130 Hercules military transport aircraft or carried underslung by UH-60, CH-46, CH-47, and CH-53 helicopters. Some variants of the Avenger were supposed, fitted with Star Trek, Mister, RBS-70, or Javelin missiles. When utilized in conjunction with the Avenger, ground forces have a competent umbrella of protection in both short and medium ranges from incoming enemy attacks.